Welcome back. Now we finished talking about chest tube. It's important to talk about something called pig tail catheter. And the reason pigtail is because this it's kind of curled this way similar to pigtail so whenever you see a catheter on an x-ray curling like this this is a pigtail catheter the pigtail catheters has multiple uses in clinical practice but because we just finished talking about chest tubes the first use of them is similar to chest tube it can be used similar to chest tubes and actually they found even in traumatic pneumothorax they are very helpful they work like large bore chest tubes and actually shorten the hospitalization duration so they can drain pleural fluid whether we're talking empyema hemothorax or uh, hemothorax or just regular pleural fluid also they can use to drain intra-abdominal collections famous ones like abscess abscesses or hematomas okay um, also they can use sometimes for a cholecystectomy tube percutaneous cholecystectomy tubes also they can be used as nephrostomies you have a blockage you need to decompress the area you can they can be used as nephrostomy so the advantages of these catheters they are small bores which means it's easier to insert and cause less pain because they are small bore small catheters and can stay for longer periods we can discharge patients home with them and with a follow-up so these are the advantages so usually they are placed by uh, placed mainly by IR interventional radiology at least in the hospital I work in all pigtail catheters placed by interventional radiology and that's why now surgeons for most intra-abdominal collection or urologists they don't do it they just refer it to IR to do it now because it's a small bore catheter that means it's more prone to blockages and obstruction kinks slower flow and sometimes doesn't flow the thick fluid collections because remember this is the tip that goes into intra-abdominal cavity and it's attached connected to a tubing system and a drainage bag that usually placed to gravity to drain whatever fluids there nurses usually frequently or uh, they have scheduled flushing system where they have to flush the catheter to make sure it remain patent and at any point if you don't see much flow coming you monitoring the output of this catheter if it's slowing down nothing coming either whatever collection has no more fluid or it's obstructed or um, uh, kinked so uh, the nurse usually look examine from outside if it's kinked or not flush it to see if it's uh, obstructed so if they come out flush it there is resistant they mean it's obstructed or kinked 
inside if you cannot see any kink outside but if any complication that you cannot solve it you try to flush the catheter nothing and uh, let's say you have an intra-abdominal abscess you repeated a cat scan or you have a pleural fluid you repeat a chest x-ray the fluid is still there then i usually contact ir and ask them to take a look at the catheter to see if it's need to be replaced or if it's need to be repositioned in a way to drain uh, better remember that i advise you when you have a problem that's not draining you make sure it's not kinked from outside the at least the part of the catheter we see and you try to flush if you cannot flush it the nurse can flush it don't just talk to ir let them troubleshoot the problem sometimes they need to replace it so that's really important to remember the last thing i want to show you is a an x-ray so whenever you see this see this curly curling tube at the tip this is a pigtail as we just showed the picture whenever you see this that means this is a pigtail catheter this is a place for pleural fluid drainage just to show you whenever you see this this is a pigtail catheter thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board